Hello and welcome to another KFH 2019 video. So today we have a very old one, this is from 2012 uh, and the pictures are a little bit bad so please do excuse if they're a little bit out of focus but I did come back and film and take a few more pictures for the very end just to show you some good quality pictures of the final restoration. So this is a Mamod SE2 and I was given it by one of my friends up at SMET, the Scottish Model Engineering Trust. And as you can see from the pictures that are now going across the screen, it was in a terrible state. So all the copper pipe had totally disappeared and been mangled. And uh, the, fortunately it hadn't suffered from Mazak rot on the flywheel, but it had got very grotty. And it needed a whole lot of work done to it. The safety valve was kaput. All the rubber had perished and worn out. So the first thing to do is to strip it down, as you can see here, into all its component parts and then start tackling the boiler. So the main union on the top had come unsoldered by soldering that back up. And as you can see, the boiler was horrendously tarnished. So the good old brasso and elbow grease came out and I started polishing it up. And you can see it came up quite nicely, actually. It got a, a beautiful shine on it. So after I'd shined up the boiler, it was then time to start working on the rest of the parts, which you'll see come up in a minute. And I bought a few parts. I had to buy a new connecting rod and a new safety valve and a new pulley um, because they were just missing on the original model and I wanted to keep it original. So you can see the assembly process here. I decided to go for a nice dark green, mainly because I really like dark green. Um, I know it's not prototypical to Mamod, but at the end of the day, when you're doing one of these restorations, I think you have the, the liberty to paint it up however you want. You're saving it from the scrapyard. So, um, yeah, here's the final bit um, all assembled. So you saw it running there on the compressor a little bit. And here's my nice photographs that I took uh, just today, actually, of it sitting on my workbench and still looking absolutely beautiful with all the piping done. So as you can see, the piping comes down off the boiler and it runs underneath the firebox and actually acts as a, a sort of a superheater. And then the pipe goes up into the, the chimney to make it look like it's a bit of water vapor. go you just saw her running in all her glory and that's about eight years now jeezy peeps eight years after I fixed her up so she's uh, still runs like a little beauty and uh, I'm very pleased and she still gets steamed quite regularly so I hope you enjoyed my little restoration video I didn't have too much video footage or photographs because as I say this was from 2012 and I'm currently working through my backlog of all my old cool projects I worked on but sadly I didn't have quite the digital savvy I do now. Thank you very much for watching one of my videos and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to help out the channel feel free to subscribe, share and like this video. I have several playlists on my main channel from live steam and other hobbies through to day trips and adventures to railways in different countries. Also restorations and fix-ups so if any of that interests you Feel free to check out my playlists, there's a growing number of videos every day. Cheers for now!